The purpose of this video is to explain a few basic exercises for the beginner steel pan improviser. The videos that follow will demonstrate how the exercises should be applied to harmonic progressions and pieces. Each exercise should be practiced for the duration of the backing tracks used with all the repeats. At first, the focus will be on improvising over a short four bar harmonic progression before advancing to the standard 12 bar blues progression and then on to pieces and styles with changing harmonies. For demonstration purposes, the lead tenor or soprano steel pen instrument will be used. It is however possible to improvise using any instrument or voice in the steel pen instrument family. For this explanation, a simple four bar progression of chords one, four, five and one will be used. However, each chord will be expressed as a dominant seventh chord. In other words, the chord progression will be 1 7, 4 7, 5 7, and 1 7. When applied to C major, the progression will therefore be C7, F7, G7, and back to C7. In the first exercise, the improviser is required to play only the root notes of the harmonies and at any register. Here, the focus is on becoming accustomed to the harmonic progression while also developing rhythmic proficiency and expression. The second exercise requires the improviser to play broken chords or chordads over the harmonic progression using an even, slow metric rhythm of crotchet note values. The steady rhythm allows the four notes of each chord to be played in sequence during the bar, a broken chord. For C7, the notes should be C, E, G and B flat. For F7, the notes would be F, A, C and E flat. For G7, the notes would be G, B, D, and F. The purpose of this exercise is to become accustomed to and comfortable at playing the chord notes at the correct time in the set progression. Notes should be practiced at all registers on the instrument.
Exercise 3 is similar to exercise 2. However, the playing tempo of the improviser is increased and the note values used are swinging quavers. The harmonic notes remain the same. Exercise 4 allows the improviser to develop and express a bit more melodic freedom while still applying some limitations and constraints. The focus is on using a set of notes or scale to improvise over the duration of the harmonic progression. For demonstration, the major pentatonic scale will be used when the progression is in a major mode while the minor pentatonic or blues scales will be used when the progression is in the minor mode. The notes for the major pentatonic scale are C, D, E, G and A. Again, notes should be practiced at all registers on the instrument. The fifth exercise will only apply to standard pieces and not to basic harmonic progressions. The purpose of this exercise is, to sim is simply to play the lead tune or melody of the piece. This is often referred to as the head. It is important to remember that the purpose of the exercises are to become proficient on playing the notes of each chord according to the harmonic progression on the instrument. Memorize the chord sequence and harmonic progression being used and to build rhythmic and melodic proficiency in order to improvise freely in any style or over any harmonic progression.